So how fast can you pull down, not just two 500 microns, you must go below 500 microns. So this is a brand new system. It has brand new copper on it. This is seven eighths of an inch thick diameter. This is three eighths of an inch diameter. There's over 40 feet of line set going inside. Then there's the large five ton evaporator that you've seen from the previous videos. So let's open up. You can see I have the vacuum port closed right now. It's in this direction instead of turned over that direction. We're at zero PSI. Let's see how fast it takes to get down into the micron range. One, two, go. There we go. So you see we're at negative 15, 18. Now I'm reading the vacuum all the way on the other end. That means it has to go all the way through the evaporator coil and it's sucking through the expansion valve and then it's coming and it's sucking through the high side line pulling in this direction as you can see right here this is open and it's going this is the worst way you could read you should be reading this way i discovered my uh testo backup batteries are dead and i'm looking for my adapter to do this the correct way right now i'm going through a hose you already see we're in 6,000, 5,000 microns 4,000, 3,000. you see how fast this is going down and that's just using the one single true blue hose so you're going over 40 feet i think it's for like 42 or 47 feet through this line and then it has to come 42 or 47 feet back through this line so we're over 80 feet say 90 feet of complete destination before it has to go up this going three feet here and the micron sensor is located right here and we're doing it through a hose which we should not be doing it through it should be directly off a dedicated micron meter and i'm gonna go see if i could dig up some batteries on this or if i could get the connector on this and do it properly but we're already almost getting there 